It was called the Banana War. Europe, the largest banana market, battled the Americas to protect tariffs aimed at protecting small farmers from billions of euros in cheap imports. The two sides have reached a compromise, uncomfortable to some, but seen as a key agreement in global trade talks. The European Parliament, including EPP Group MEPs, ratified the settlement that will gradually reduce the EU's import tariff on Latin American bananas from 176 euros a ton now to 114 euros in 2017, and even lower for some Latin American countries. The Parliament's International Trade Committee had already backed the accord. But Laima Andrikiene of Lithuania, the EPP Group's shadow rapporteur, said the EU needs to ensure that small farmers can still survive. We have to have a right balance between liberalization and uh, support given to European banana producers. The dispute had gone all the way to the World Trade Organization, which ruled in favor of the Latin American countries and the United States, permitting the U.S. to retaliate with tariffs on European exports like Scottish cashmere and French cheese. Under the compromise agreement, the Latin American countries agreed to drop their complaints against the EU at the WTO and not to seek further tariff cuts at the Doha round of world trade talks. The conclusion of the agreement is a, a good sign, a positive sign. Also, we think that we will, uh, would contribute to um, a Doha round negotiations. For the EU banana producers, the compromise may mean defeat unless they can become more competitive and diversify from the world's fourth most important crop. That's why the European Parliament's Agriculture Committee is studying a proposed support scheme for certain crops in those regions. Promoting liberalization of trade in bananas, we have to take into account interests of Europeans as well. Also, we have, we have your, uh, banana growers in Canary Islands, in Madeira, uh, Martinique, many islands. And that was traditional, traditional, those were traditional industries. Many people are involved. Reaching that balance, she says, can be a lengthy process. And you know, it's, it's easy for us to, you know, to, to talk about this, but when you speak with the people, and I remember the message uh, the European Commissioner sent to them, you could grow flowers, but it's not easy to, to switch from, you know, bananas to flowers. And uh, I think they simply, maybe they simply need more time. Every year, Europe consumes about five and a half million tons of bananas, about 90% of them imported, nearly three billion euros. That's why the stakes were so high and both sides fought so bitterly. Putting an end to the banana war could speed global trade talks by removing a key contentious issue between the world's two largest trading partners, Europe and the United States. For more information about our group's activities on this and other issues, please have a look at our website, eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.